Muslims believe that death is a departure from the life of this world, but not the end of a person's existence. When a Muslim is near death, those around him or her are called upon to give comfort and reminders of God's mercy and forgiveness. Upon death, those with the deceased are encouraged to remain calm, pray for the departed, and begin preparations for burial. Grief at the death of a beloved person is normal, and weeping for the dead is allowed in Islam. It is prohibited to express grief by wailing, shrieking, beating the chest and cheeks, tearing hair or clothes, or saying phrases that makes a Muslim lose faith. Muslims strive to bury the deceased as soon as possible after death to avoid the need for embalming or otherwise disturbing the body of the deceased. In preparations for burial, the family or other members of the community will wash and shroud the body according to the Islamic rites of washing the deceased. The deceased will be washed respectfully with clean and scented water. The washing should be done three or five or any more odd numbers of times if necessary. Just after washing the body of the deceased, the shredding should start. The body is wrapped in sheets of clean white cloth called the kafan. The material of the sheet should not be silk, nor should any gold be used. The deceased is then transported to the site of the funeral prayers. These prayers are commonly held outdoors in a courtyard or public square, not inside the mosque. The community gathers and the prayer leader stands in front of the deceased, facing away from the worshipers. The funeral prayer is similar in structure to the five daily prayers with a few variations. There is no bowing or prostration and the entire prayer is said silently but for a few words. The deceased is then taken to the cemetery for burial. It is recommended for those following the body of the deceased on foot to keep behind or either on the right or the left of those who are carrying the body. They should walk calmly and not crowd or push others who are carrying the deceased. It is preferred for a Muslim to be buried where he or she died and not to be transported to another location or country, which may cause delays or require embalming the body. If available, a cemetery or section of one set aside for Muslim, Muslims is preferred. The deceased is laid in the grave without a coffin, if permitted by local law, on his or her right side facing Mecca. At the grave site, it is discouraged for people to erect tombstones, elaborate markers, or put flowers or other mementos. Rather, one should humbly remember Allah and his mercy and pray for the deceased. Loved ones and relatives are to observe a three-day mourning period. Mourning is observed in Islam by increased devotion, receiving visitors and condolences, and avoiding decorative clothing and jewelry. When one dies, everything in his earthly life is left behind, and there are no other opportunities to perform acts of righteousness and faith. The Prophet Muhammad once said that there are three things, however, which may continue to benefit a person after death. Charity given during life which continues to help others, knowledge from which people continue to benefit, and a righteous child who prays for him or her. This is a documentary on the Amish cultural view of death. Being from an Amish background makes it easier for me to talk about this. A little background on the Amish is that they are very simple, conservative people, so much so that they are often misinterpreted in social environments. You may ask why I'm doing a documentary and not doing a slideshow or pictures. It's because the Amish are very religious people and they separate themselves from the world in that way. They do not take uh, pictures, photo uh, do photography, or any um, videoing. I'm going to separate the uh, their view of death into three sections, how they, the process of it. Uh, the first thing they do is have a viewing of the body, and this happens in the home of the deceased one. The room that the body is laid in is completely stripped of all the furniture and there are chairs placed around the walls. That is where the family of the loved one will sit and people can file through the room in the home and normally everyone wears black. The coffin is extremely plain. It is homemade, wooden, there are no, uh, there's no padding, there are no handles, just very uh, simple. The next uh, thing they do is have a funeral service and this takes place three days after the uh, after the death. All that attend wear 
black as in most funerals. Uh, the family of the loved one normally wears black up to a year. Their grief is very private. It is not displayed uh, outwardly. They keep everything in their emotions. And the service, the funeral service, is two hours long, and it is spent focusing on God rather than the deceased one. That the the one that died is rarely mentioned in a service. Uh, the service is spoken in Dutch or German. There are no photos, no flowers, no singing, which is very uncommon because a lot of um, Amish services have a lot of hymns, but in a funeral service there is no singing. After the funeral service there is a burial. The grave site, uh, is, the grave is normally hand dug or with shovels by the, by the family members or friends. Tombstones are very plain, normally just the name of the loved one and the date, the birth and death date. And after the burial, everyone is invited back to the home of the deceased one and they have a meal. And that pretty much sums up this documentary. Peru is located in South America, the land of gold and of the sun worship in Incas. Peru, in the 16th century, was Europe's major source of treasure and once the home of the largest empire in the America. Today, the culture in Peru is a mixture of Spanish and Inca traditions, with Inca traditions prevailing the most in the Andean small villages. Religion plays a big part of culture, with Catholics prevailing the most in the country. Catholics account for more than 80% of the entire country's population. Traditions can still be seen when a person dies. Until recently, when a person died at home, as long as there was no foul play, the remains were watched there. This is called the viewing. The remains are viewed at home overnight until the following day. Family, friends, and anybody that knew the deceased visit the home to give the family their condolences and pay respects. The body cannot be touched, therefore a glass is placed over the coffin. The glass is, pl is in place due to the body not being prepared properly for bur burial. Since the body is being viewed at home immediately after death, the body is prepared enough to last only for one day. Cotton balls can be observed in the nostrils and ears of the deceased to avoid any bodily fluids from coming out. This tradition is mostly seen in small towns and people that are not able to afford a proper funeral. In modern day, this custom is not as prominent in major cities, with the capital Lima being one of them. The people that are able to afford a funeral and burial use a funeral home and if necessary, the viewing can be done days after the death to give the family time to prepare as well as the body be properly preserved. A mass takes place during the viewing before the remains are taken to the cemetery. The deceased is then buried a day later after the viewing, which would usually be the next day after death. Then the mourners will accompany the hearse to the cemetery where the body is buried. This process of accompanying the hearse changes in small Andean villages and poor neighborhoods. The mourners will all walk to the cemetery carrying the coffin with a band following playing their traditional music. This is almost like a parade and a celebration of life as the deceased goes to the afterlife, according to their religious belief. Traditionally, Mass also takes place seven days later, monthly and even up to a year later, to remember the deceased. Family members, friends, and acquaintances will attend the Mass. Other different traditions that take place in the small Adenian villages include the killing of a cow, which is then fed to practically the entire town. Cows are expensive, so it's a special occasion. After the protein-packed lunch, the whole town proceeds to walk with the body to the cemetery, which is the same parade traditions with the band playing the traditional music. No matter what your culture is, the one thing that ties us all together is remembering our loved ones. Peru's celebration of life, the Amish's conservative thinking, Muslims' restriction of emotion all have this in common. Just remember, a death in any culture signifies a new beginning.